Hi all, I am Nikhil Mittal, I am the author of Cotillia. In this video, we will have a look at one of the payloads in Cotillia, which could be used to drop infected or weaponized Microsoft Word files on a target using a human interface device like TeenC. So let's get started. Let's start Cotillia. I am running Cotillia on Windows for this demonstration. Let's like payload for Windows, then 6, which means drop files. This is the option for dropping files. Now let's select the first one, drop MS Word file. Now Cotillia shows a little help about this payload, which clearly shows that to execute PowerShell scripts, we, we should use this uh, PowerShell one-liner. So let's use it. And let's pass a URL to uh, this payload, uh, URL of a PowerShell script. So this PowerShell script is nothing but a power uh, metropeter in PowerShell format and it is hosted on my local web server for this demonstration. So this is the payload we are passing to this Cotillia attack vector. Then it asks for the no thanks. Then it asks for uh, name of the word file we want to drop. Let's hit enter for the default one and let's use TNC3. It tells us that the output has been generated. So let's just get out of it. Let's see the output folder. Okay. Here is a sketch. Let's just copy this and paste it to Arduino development environment and let's upload it to the device connected on my machine. That is the attacker's machine. Okay, the button has been uploaded. Let's just burn it on the device. Meanwhile, we can uh, we have a uh, metapeter reverse HTTPS running here on the attacker's machine. So now our device is ready to uh, to be connected to a target. So off to the target. Here we are on the victim. So as soon as the victim or the target connects the TNC device. So since uh, I'm not connecting the device for the first time, so there is no driver installation taking place. In any case, Cotillia takes care of that. So as we can see, the device is uh, typing some stuff on the target. So uh, this uh, attack, in this attack, a PowerShell script is being written on the target and that PowerShell script will create the weaponized MS Word file on the desktop of the current user. As you can see, there is a new uh, Word file on, on the desktop. So let's just remove this device. And as soon as any user on the target machine opens this uh, uh, Word file, there would be no pop-ups or anything. The user won't be able to see anything. But uh, we should have a matter pitter session back on the attacker's machine. So let's go back there. As we can see on uh, the attacker's machine that we were successfully able to establish a matter pitter reverse HTTPS session. We uh, we wrote the payload to a human interface device. That human interface device dropped a PowerShell script on the target machine that powershell script created a crafted or weaponized uh, microsoft word file on the desktop of current user on the target and as soon as the target opened that file uh, we got a metapeter session back so it is quite helpful hope you enjoyed this this is all for this video